Hey everybody, this is The Gerbil. Welcome back. This is uh, May 26th GAC, and uh, but I'm not posting this till May 27th, which is, of course, Kenobi Day. Yep, if you don't have a Disney Plus subscription, go get one. Log in, watch Kenobi. Uh, it's already on the air as of publishing this right now. And uh, a friend of mine's already seen it, said it was truly amazing. I haven't watched it yet. I'll get to it later. It's also Star Wars Celebration Day in Anaheim, California. You should totally look into that. Uh, Capital Games is there, but I'm not real impressed with their booth or public statements. Anyway, GAC, let's get to it. So this first one, this is a GAC of risk taking. Uh, just really seeing what works. So we got Jen, Urza, R2-D2, and Rolo, ladies and a droid. And the thinking here is Rolo's basic applies ability block while her AOE hits 10 times and anyone it hits twice gets um, ability block. Oops, sorry, her basic applies buff immunity. Got that backwards. Uh, Jen removes turn meter and stuns, R2 stuns, and the hope is just to control the game. But unfortunately we whiffed several times on R2 as he uh, it doesn't always land that stun, and Jin also didn't land it either, which is frustrating. Um, but spoiler alert, my opponent has six GLs, I have two, and we're going to win. Now, I wish I could take full credit for that, but I cannot, because my opponent simply did not attack me. Yeah, so it's a win, no matter what. But um, this is actually a really good team. The problem is uh, obviously there's no tank. They they take damage really quick. The AI tends to prioritize Jen and she does revive the uh, the allies but not if they're if she's the one that's dead. Um okay, double owe me Akbar. <laughs> that silly boss is so fast, but it doesn't matter. I I this is the second time I've encountered this uh opponent and um so this is not uh, a risk match in the slightest. I suppose Boba could could um, execute and hit somebody for enough damage to take them down. Probably Akbar, more likely Leia. But Leia is never going to come out of stealth. I don't think anyone on this team can dispel her. So she's she's safe. Um, Han is pretty much never going to lose Taunt either. Uh, and the Omicron on Zam as good as it is, to be honest, I'm not seeing it being that good anymore. Um, I think it's a lot better on paper, and initially it just surprised people. Now that everyone has realized the effectiveness of it, they have compensated, and it is no longer, I think, that effective. So, I mean, you can see how even focusing fire, Bosk went down really easy. Leia was consistently double tapping, sometimes triple for 15, 30, 15 16,000 each. But when turning onto Zam, she was triple shotting there for over 20,000 damage. Um, Boba just got hit. Look at that, a double tap, 28, 28, 16, 26, 26. Easy, 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 cheesy. So no problem there in the slightest. All right, time to take another risk here. We got Hux with double, or with TIE Fighter Special Forces and First Order Officer. Now normally, I don't know who to use against Hux. I do some research online. And the counters are usually people I already have on defense or I need them somewhere else. So Hux has been a, a thorn in my side for a while. And I just said, what the heck, let's see how, how Geos do because I don't think he has an AoE. And then I get reminded that First Order Special Forces does have an AoE. And he hits pretty hard, but um, I think he has an AoE. I'm pretty sure he does an AoE here any moment. I don't remember, somebody has an AoE. Maybe we already we already saw it and I missed it. I don't remember. Anyway, um, he hits really hard and it does get a little scary here, but they're Relic 3, Relic 5, and they were all Relic. And uh, my Geos, I think Brood Alpha is Relic 4, I think. And the other two are geared 12. And this was not hard. We do not get full banners, but it, it was not hard. Now, Sunpack almost bit the dust, but almost doesn't count unless you're playing a game of horseshoes or tactical nuclear warfare. Almost just doesn't count. All right, so two down against Homeboy with six GLs. Next, he's got Crew, and I think that in any place, Empire should beat First Order. I mean, it doesn't always, um, but just, just following the lore, Empire should be better than First Order. I don't care. 
And Kylo Ren, I'm sorry, I'm not in the I love the First Order fan club. Uh, I did not like, it, it is a personal thing for me. I just don't like Kylo Ren's character much in the game, or in the movies. I feel he was just very, like, like Rey. I think that Rey and Kylo were both very, very whiny. Um, it's like, dude, dude is already super powerful can do what he wants goes where he wants runs the first order he's got supreme power and he's still unhappy i get it though right grass is always greener on the other side of the fence no matter what you have you want more that's that's kylo um so anyway though this this is not too hard we get shock and kylo ren and then he can't recover health and protection which means he eventually falls down wow stun vader i don't like that slightest i wish royal guard would taunt more um, his auto taunt, you know, you have to fall below 50% health, at which point you can very easily die. And of course, taunt is pretty easy to, um, to dispel these days, but I do wish that Royal Guard would taunt much sooner. I'm going to be replacing Royal Guard with Ninth Sister because she taunts faster and, and she has that AOE that dazes and does some other good stuff. I think Ninth Sister is much, much better than Royal Guard, but we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. All right, down goes Kylo Ren First Order. Yay, 53 banners, not so good. Moving on, now we've got some resistance. And this is this is just a free win, not really testing much here. But yeah, the, the Rolo Urza was, was a fun little test. I have no idea what the proper kill order is here. Um, I know that Jedi Training Ray is the only one that's gonna put out any damage or a scavenger ray she's the only one that's going to put out any damage so she's the only potential threat so i want to go after her first but mr poe taunts there finn taunts and so we got to get past the taunters so whatever we'll just do a little bit of life train life train shoulder slap this time a whack whack of the lightsaber shoot the sky i don't know why you would shoot the sky and not your opponent right i mean it seems like you'd want to shoot them not the sky you might hit a poor innocent bird. That would just be devastating. All right, pose down. Got to do another life drain, but can't get there yet. So do another lightsaber slap. There we go. And life drain and you're gone. Yeah, like I said, free win. All right, good. Landed the stun. Nice hit. Tenacity down. Oh, she's going to hit back. Life drain, full health. And oh, I don't think we got to full health. Weird. Um, oh, well, we got our... Points. Now I'm going to skip the fleet battles just to go in here because fleet battles are pretty common. Um, there's honestly nothing special in my fleet battles. They're at the end of the video today if you want to see them. Um, but here we go. This one we're also going to speed up. This this is an easy, easy win. But the, as I said before, the, the enemy is not your opponent's characters in this case. It's the clock. Because Bastila's lead is giving Master Luke an insane amount of protection. And then, of course, Wat Tambora get put the, the tank tech on him, which means he's recovering that protection at, a, at a just obscene rate. So um, once you get once you get Sith Eternal's ultimate off and you, you clear off the other two characters, just put it in full automatic and hope for the best. I mean, there might be a better strategy if there is. I don't know it. I'd love, love the feedback. Tell me in the comments. But you just need the time. So we're doubling the speed here. And you can see Sith Eternal is hitting for 95,000 damage. And on each of Luke's turns, he's back up to full bonus protection. At least I think that's full bonus protection. Or we're actually whittling it down. I, I don't know. I, I haven't done the math on this one, and to be honest, I don't care. I just know that gradually over time, Sith Eternal is getting stronger and stronger. So whereas we were hitting for 85, 90,000, now we're hitting for 100,000 consistently. And then pretty soon it's going to be 120, 130, 150, and eventually we are going to break through uh, Skywalker's protection. It just takes forever, which is why you want to go to full auto. See, we landed the shock, and yet he's still recovering that bonus protection. 120 now. See, you, you just don't have time to do this on manual. There's just no way. 
All right, so the ultimate double tap for 100. So now we can see that he's no longer recovering that, that full purple bar. It's consistently now about half, but look, we have less than a minute left, but it's almost gone. And once it's gone, it doesn't come back. So there it is. That's it. Goodbye. We got him. We got him. Now, here's my only hope for winning against Ray. Um, and in 5v5, this is not hard. In 3v3, I don't know what happened here. Um, I thought I should just focus on Ray, and I think that was a mistake. I think also marking was a mistake. I should have damaged them both, knocked um, Admiral down to the 50% so she goes into the healing or damage immunity, then turn my attention onto Ray, let them both, you know, let that, that damage immunity expire and then try to kill them. But I just focus everything here on Ray and somehow I do absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's the first big hit, down goes Revan, no, no savior because he's not the lead. And see, Haldo still has uh, has not been dropped below the threshold for the damage immunity. So even if I target her now, it's not going to do me any good. And so I'm just hoping to do enough damage to Ray um, before she powers up again and we're not going to make it. And after losing this, I have no chance of clearing this, this field. So at that point, it just becomes, I hope my opponent doesn't attack, which he or she didn't. Yeah, there it is. All right, here comes ultimate number two. Down goes Yoda. So now it's 1v3, and we still haven't made even a scratch on Holdo or, or Yoda. So, pointless. And that is the biggest gripe, I think, with 3v3. Well, well just in general, Galactic Legends. It's great to have these, like, superheroes, but... Grand Arena is not about having skill when your opponent has six GLs and you have two. I mean, if, if this person went and it wanted to win, it's a foregone conclusion that they're going to win. Um, anyway, they didn't. They did not want to win or they didn't have time to win or whatever. Who knows? All right, so here we go. We're going to go against Maul and some Mandalorians with Wampa. Uh, my Wamp's now seven, Relic seven, and he's going to be my next, or she's going to be my next, Relic eight. I hear a lot of people online saying Wampa's a girl, and there was there was for a little while a, a small push to try to get CG to remove Wampa from Dark Side and just make it neutral. I mean, they've got the neutral tag in the game. They've never used it, and it does make sense. I mean, Wampa is not evil. It's a wild animal. It's just hungry, right? Like any wild predator, like any alpha predator in particular, it's going to go after anything it perceives as food. It doesn't care. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just trying to survive in nature, especially in Hoth, which is going to be clearly one of the most inhospitable environments for humanity. So, I mean, the, the, the fact that the thing is surviving out there is amazing. So, anyway, um, this one got a little scary, but Wampa never really lost much life, which is why you want to mod for as much uh, survivability as possible. That's all that matters. Now, I, I really, in retrospect, I wish, just for fun, I had tried that Wampa against Ray. I don't think it had a chance, but it might have been fun just to see. I mean, it counter-strikes enough that it might have been able to get rid of Haldo, but I don't think it would have won. In fact, I, I haven't even Googled, checked YouTube or anything to see if Ray is going to be, can be beat by Wampa. I don't know. So, Triumvirate versus Old Republic Sith. So, we've each lost a character, but that Scion's going to go down real fast at lower relics. My Revan, Darth Revan's only relic 4, so it's kind of balanced there. But, yeah, lost a banner or two. But that's it. And at this point, I don't care if I lose the banners because I can't win the match. I have no chance of that, actually. Um, so anyway, here we go. We've got Rex lead with Bad Batch. And this battle just really 
annoys me. So I'm going to put it fast forward. We're going to lose um, that echo. Once he puts the days out there, uh, it just wrecks havoc on the Imperial troopers, as you know, because then they're not assisting each other. They're not getting the bonus turn meter. And it pretty much is just a slow grindy downhill. I thought about just trying to kill echo so that uh, it would trigger the fives and at least it would be 2v3 at that point because Echo will go down really fast but uh, instead I said no we'll, we'll focus on fives try to get him out and that was a mistake I can't can't get through him too too tanky so big mistake noob mistake perhaps lesson learned scratch that one There we go. I have no idea why I'm sticking around. Should have just exited, reset the turn meter. No idea what I'm doing. Why am I staying? Why? Yep, see, that's over. Okay, so next I figured, okay, well, let's just try, out of curiosity, bounty hunters. I'm, I'm just wondering if we can ability block, uh, maybe stun Echo with Dengar. Or not Dengar. Who, else? Who stuns? I don't remember. Um, but, it, it, yeah, Dengar, the, the middle one. But we already got the taunt up from fives. We got the stun there from Cad Bane, but it's not the right target. He's got the days on the team now. We're going to try and execute. It's not going to work. Um, yeah, so that's it. This one's already over before it's even really started. So we are going to beat this team in battle number three in about 15 seconds. We're almost there. Yeah, just leave. Just leave. All right, so we'll try this number three, this time with Piet Thrawn, and we're going to put in Nest. Um, Nest for the counter strikes and a removed taunt, the mass AoE, uh, daze, also Thrawn to, to fracture and get um, any one of them out of the way. It doesn't even matter who. Um, but this team also doesn't rely on the assist, even though P it's basic will call an assist, doesn't rely on it, so we don't care. But there we dazed Echo, which is what we needed, and we fracture and we can get rid of fives after that. So at this point, it's actually easy. And I think had I taken in this team first, I probably would have won. Because you know, P it's gonna daze them so that they're not assisting each other. Thrawn is gonna just eliminate somebody. Uh, from the, the equation, and then Nest is going to just clean up. And Nest can stun too. So we got a fracture and a stun from Thrawn, we got a stun from Nest, uh, we got mass days from Piet. That would have been a lot smarter. Anyway, I'm not going to talk through these fleet battles. They're pretty easy, really straightforward, nothing spectacular to see. But enjoy them if you want, and I will catch you all later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.